So this video is specifically for Mac and Linux. So if you're on Windows, you can skip this video and actually jump over to the Windows uh, setup video. In this video, we are going to upgrade the terminal that comes with Mac and Linux. Now, if you uh, are into Linux um, and maybe you already know about the terminal and you have a nice shell and a terminal you're happy with, so maybe you don't need this video, but maybe give it a watch and just make sure things are set up correctly. Um, and if you're on Mac, you have a, a couple of options. Let me show you something though, speaking of shortcut keys. On Mac, if you hit Command and Space, it's gonna bring up the Spotlight Search. Uh, and you can actually start typing in terminal, and you'll see there is in fact a built-in terminal on Mac, but it's pretty plain Jane, pretty limited, and kind of sucks. Uh, on the, the Linux side, again, if you're using some sort of a GUI there, you can hit the Windows key, I think, depending on your keyboard, and there'll be some type of default terminal. Uh, but in most cases, we want to get something a little bit better. So I encourage you to, whether you're on Mac or Linux, to get go to hyper.is. That's the one that I use on Mac, and that's the one you'll see in my videos. So you can download that and install it. Again, no major tricks uh, there. All the defaults should be fine. And I'll give you one other alternative. Here's another shortcut key, by the way. You can hit Control Tab to switch over to the next tab. That's Control Tab. And that should be for Mac and Linux. Uh, but you can get iTerm2 for Mac. A lot of people actually prefer this, I think, but it's maybe sort of a toss-up. Uh, so I tried them both, and I'm happy with both of them. I just happen to be using Hyper. So get yourself a new terminal, and then we'll go from there in the upcoming videos. We're going to set up a, um, a package manager uh, for Mac. And again, you can also use that for Linux unless you're already using um, a, a package manager that you are satisfied with, such as um, apt or something like that. Uh, all right, so see you in the next video. We're going to open up these, uh, these brand new terminals and play around with some of our options and configuration. Thanks for watching.